And here we are in the greenhouse once again. I'm here with Gretchen, who knows everything greenhouse. And today we're talking about tools, garden tools, and some really nifty things that you've got that you wanted to show me. And right here we have tools that are for smaller hands. Is yes, that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. A lot of us that work in the garden, we don't have, you know, they, they, they make things for big guys and not only is it the big guys working in the garden. It just doesn't work for, it, for people with smaller hands. It doesn't. So we have trowels here. We have trowels, we've got poppers, we've got clippers, and in particular I really like this trowel. I always like a trowel that has measurements on oh, it's it. It's got the measurements. Because different things have to be, you know, they'll say plant it three inches deep and you're not going to bring a ruler it's out. A guess, so there right? you go. Okay. Also has a nice serrated edge too, so if you're trying to get through some roots, some roots. and you're planting around other plants, Excellent. That's really helpful. Okay. And you, what did you call this? The, these are poppers? It's a dandelion popper. Yeah, dandelions, I have one, but I never knew what it was called. That's, yes. And yeah. it, it has a nice, it's, really sharp edge. You go down low, because dandelions have really deep roots. Yes. And it doesn't ha help to just get the top off of it. You want to get the whole plant. You go down, and believe it or not, it really does work. It really does work, because <laughs> really I have does popped a lot of dandelions yes. using the one that I have. Yes, yes, okay. Yes. Now we have some smaller clippers, but I see that they're, not only are they small, but there's different sizes. There are. Some are just for making cut flowers. Some you might want to trim up or you even want to bring a bigger branch in. Okay. A lot of these can go up to a half inch uh, to, to cut branches. Okay. So that's really, really helpful. And I love the colors. Yes. Um, it's pretty, but sometimes I find I really like to have something with a really bright color mm -hmm. because I want to leave things behind and I can find it if it's a brighter color, if it's in the grass or right. in the mulch or under the flowers. Exactly. Well, my, my father um, had glaucoma and as he got older, uh, before he passed, he, he did uh, still want to do some gardening and yard work, but he would leave things everywhere. So he needed to find them. So he had a particular uh, pitchfork that he had. He would wrap red electrical tape around the handle and he Brilliant. knew right where to go oh, and yeah. get it. So it's just, this is the same same idea. Idea. Same idea. All right, yeah. great. So what do we have next? We're coming around uh, here. We're coming and around we have... here, and we have a lot of tools that can do double duty as other things. Um, this, in particular, this rake. I'll let you do it. I like it. It's it's small. You can, and if you're down on your knees and you're yeah. you're raking, and but it can, doesn't have to be small. Oh, you can okay. actually twist it. Oh, you twist. Look at that. Yeah. And then you twist it back, it yeah. tightens up. So you're able to either still be on your knees and get farther in your flower bed, uh -huh. or you can just stand up and right. And, and you put it away and it's small, which is really that great. That is awesome. Awesome. It and is. now see we have some more trowels. Yes, more trowels, more measurements, measurements. always great. Um, these guys here are called bear claws. Oh, I have some of these. Oh my God. I love I these. Love, 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 love. One they of my very favorite tools. They are so great to use in the yard. As you can see the picture here, you put your hands in those little, yeah. put your hands right, right in there. Yeah. And so you have these two claws. Yes. And I Gra pick up grass leaves. Grass clippings, and, leaves. Oh. Um, you trim the roses and they've got all the spikes. Oh, all the prickly things. Yes. Yeah. So really, really good. I, I love, love, love those things. One of my very, very, very favorite Exactly. Tools. Okay. Now let's go around here. Now here's something over here, Gretchen, you wanted to show me about. This is pretty neat. And you were explaining that this, it sort of looks like a rake. It, well, it is a rake. And it is, it a, is rake, a rake, but yeah. this comes out. And Takes then you can, like if you have uh, small plants in small areas, you yes. can get in between with that. But also, let me see if I could do this right. Unlock that yeah. and then just push that down. Yeah, and you just keep going until it's as wide as you want and you're covering more area. So you can swipe. you can even only do it like that Absolutely. if you wanted to, yeah. or full yeah. and cover more air. That is awesome. And I love that it goes down so compact. It so goes you can down put it in your garden shed really easily. Right, space. Yeah. That's good. Twist it to lock it. Yeah. And lock that. There we go. There you go. That is awesome. That is awesome. Cute little rake. Okay, and now we're over to watering. Yes. So we have lots of things to water, and sometimes people forget to water. Right? They do. They forget to the water. Do. So we have something back here that that we use. Well, this for is even if you remember to water, but a lot of times people leave their hoses on um, because something needs to be watered for a long time, 
and they yeah. get distracted with something else and they go, oh, I've had left the water on for four hours. <laughs> exactly. And they didn't mean to. Well, this is a timer. Okay. And you can set it for up to an hour and then it turns off. And then days. it turns off. Excellent. All right, so we also have some, um, some sprayers here, lots of different, and again, lots of colors. Lots of lots colors. Lots of colors. Now, I have one of these uh, wands at home, but it's a little longer. Yes. Uh, Great for getting farther into the bed for your hanging baskets. And I like these wands here because mine has a little twisty thing here. Yes. But this has the hand trigger. Yeah. That is the on and off, which Wonderful. is awesome. Wonderful. Again, uh, lots of great colors. And these are called pistol sprayers? They're, they're all pistol sprayers because mm -hmm. they're, you know, they're a hand grip. Right. Um, some have a certain spray pattern, and then there are others that have many spray patterns. So, oh, I so, see. Fan, cone, center, jet, So angle. you can be having a nice gentle spray Soaker. for watering the plants, but then there's a jet that you're cleaning off the grass, off the deck, right. or off the sidewalk after you move. Okay. So. All right. And there's these big ones with lots of different uh, spray angles, and mm -hmm. then these are pretty That's much... A plain old guy. Just yep. plain wash old guy. Car. Yeah, yep. wash the car. All right. And again, in lots of great different colors, so that... <laughs> When I leave it in the yard, yes. I can go out and say, oh, there it is. There it is. All right. You see it before so, you mow it. <laughs> so, yeah. so these are just some of the many tools, not only that you can help get the job done, but also get it done easier and, and better. Yeah. And Absolutely. we've got much more here to look at, too. We do. Okay. We do. From the greenhouse, it's Gretchen. I'm Donna. Now we know about 